A lot of times they call into the main line, which they'll get either myself or JT, who is one of our production managers. They would contact us, uh, give us an idea of what they're looking for. A lot of people who have a building already or a site, and a lot of people don't. And then we will hand you off to either Matt Rennerfelt, uh, John Marco, or JT himself is beginning to take on some sales. A lot of times it's a long conversation, and, and so you get to know where they're coming from, what their what their, their their goals are and their desires, and so it's like okay, from that I understand that that uh, it may make sense for you to do a 20 barrel or 30 barrel system. Maybe it's a two vessel, maybe it's a three, maybe a, maybe a four. Uh, we just ask that you send us. You know, I got a 30 by 100 foot space, and uh, I'm looking at this system. So from there, we're able to kind of give them an idea of what it would look like or what some of the equipment setups could be. Essentially what you want to do, the beer that you want to make, how much of it you want to make, whatever your business model is, is, is really going to drive what we do equipment-wise. You're not going to start packaging right away, or you are going to start packaging right away, or you're going to do it in phases. There's so much that goes into designing and, and basically that initial quote. This, this process goes through revision after revision after revision until um, we've met your budgetary requirements, your building requirements, and your brewing requirements. We call it the three Bs. And, and once we've landed on, on, on all three of those, then typically we're, we're at, the, at the place where the next step is for, uh, is for you to, to sort of pull the trigger on, on getting equipment built. Um, and then the process obviously goes, goes on through project management from that point. You've said yes, the order is placed. We immediately do layouts for, for the equipment in your space, in your building. Um, and we may have been doing layouts prior to that. Uh, but essentially we need to we need to land on a layout that, that works for you and, and so once we have approval of that then we get into more technical schematics utility schematics so we tell them exactly what kind of electrical hookups they need and where it needs to be uh, glycol steam air water drains everything we think of everything so when it comes out uh, when we come out to do the install everything's ready to go so we do all of these all of these utility hookup drawings send those to you send those to your contractors so they know where, where the, the infrastructure needs to go. The customers that uh, we've worked with over the last year uh, really, really enjoyed the fact that we were hands-on, uh, helped them with their drawings, helped them with their contractors. Typically, at some point in this process, I'm at your place. I'm checking it out. I'm getting eyes on your space. We're, we're looking at process flow and, and we're making sure that what we're doing makes sense. Electrical contractors, plumbing contractors, architects uh, on a daily basis for all of these different customers. Make sure that everybody's on the same page by the time that brew house arrives for an installation. Once they get their brew house and all of their tanks on site and they get them placed, we have a checklist that they go through to ensure that everything's in place prior to our technician showing up and helping install. Then our installation team just takes over after that and, and works with the uh, uh, brewmaster on getting everything fine-tuned and getting through his first brew. So we work with the head brewer, the master, the master brewer, and uh, walk through the passivation process, um, uh, cleaning the tanks, do a water brew, do a full brew. But we have very knowledgeable staff here that are happy to be on hand. Uh, sometimes they leave within a day's notice. If something's, something's going on, we'll be there. You know, if you have a steam valve that goes out on you, you can't brew and you can't sustain your business. So you need, you need that part the same day or the next day and nothing else is acceptable. So we make that happen. It's a long process. Um, I'd say about six months from start to finish, um, depending on just a lot of factors, depending on how contracting goes and renovations or if it's a new building or what we have on hand. But once we get the green light, we give it 100% all the way. And there's nothing better than handing over the keys, saying, it's your brewery, go get them, and, and we're here for you. And, and so just to watch them, watch them light, I almost get choked up because I, I like to be a part of that process of, of handing them the keys and, and just, just watch them light up and, and, and go. So, and, and uh, you know, getting that phone call a week or two later going, thank you, we're working, is, is a pretty good feeling.